XDA Developers TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. And today I have a very special video for you. This is the continuation of the series, The Basics of Tasker. This is volume three. Now understanding volume one and two or knowing the application is really important because today we're gonna go a little further in the application. We're gonna build some pretty complex profiles and we're gonna learn how they all work. So if you're ready like I'm ready, hang on to your seats and let the show begin. All right, so we begin our video at our profile screen. We have home, morning commute, work, car, so on and so forth. Now, if you noticed here, all of these go in somewhat of an order. You know, you wake up in the morning, you start going to work, and you go to work, and you're back in your car, and it's, then it's nighttime. So the reason I'm doing this, I like to set it up to make it more organized for you to look at and also for myself when I'm actually modifying these tasks I like to see what are the tasks that it affects so we're gonna hop into home here and you can see here we have two triggers one trigger is Wi-Fi near my SSID and also uh, between a certain time you may ask me why does a certain time matter and I'll get into that shortly but right now um, we're gonna actually go into our home profile and see what it actually has in there so we have our volumes all the way up our Wi-Fi is set to on Display timeout, I set to two minutes. Dash clock, which is a extension that is for your home screen. And I'll show you what that looks like shortly. Secure settings, which is another profile that you can download for free that is a, plugs in a tasker. I recommend that it has a lot of advanced settings. Some things do require root access and some things do require, um, you have to unlock the software. But a lot of the actions and a lot of the things built into it does not require root, nor does it require you to purchase it. So that's why I'm showing it. And the reason I like this pattern lock disable is because when I'm at home, I don't like to put in my password every single time. But when I'm at work or if I'm in the car, I like to have the password on my phone just in case someone picks up my phone at work or just in case I you know, lose my phone or drop my phone or something like that. All right, now we're going to head over to morning commute. And this is triggered between 6 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. I go into work at different times. But this happens when between this time, I launch Waze and it's between Monday through Friday. So if all three of these things are true, then this Waze profile will launch under morning commute. So once we get into Waze, this is basically the settings. The application Waze loads, obviously. I, I know it sounds like overkill, but I just want to make sure the application is open. My GPS is set to on. My ringer and media is set all the way up. And Bluetooth is turned off. Now, when I'm exiting, this is something that I like to have set up. I have GPS turned off and Wi-Fi on. The reason I turn off GPS when I'm out of my car, I, I don't need it. Uh, to the next place I'm going. And if I do need it next place I'm going, my car profile will turn it back on. Wi-Fi on because everywhere I go, I try to connect to Wi-Fi and I use Wi-Fi for locations. But pretty much anywhere I go, whether it's the gym, school, work, girlfriend's house, father's house, mother's house, wherever, I have Wi-Fi. So I'll always have my Wi-Fi turned on. The next one on our list is work. I have this set up as a Wi-Fi near personal mobile devices one of the SSIDs that we have at work. Um, and the work settings are following. We have display timeout set to one minute, notifications on two, ringer on two, Wi-Fi is turned on since we do have Wi-Fi work, GPS turned off, dash clock extension is set to work hard now, play later, and secure settings is pattern lock enabled. Now, once I press the play button here, this actually simulates, this actually simulates these settings right here. So all I need to do is turn my screen off and you can see here it says work hard now, play later. It's, you know, kind of my little model I put in there. And then uh, now it requires a password. It actually has a password that's saved to my phone. So I don't have to worry about just a generic password working. My car profile was triggered by Car Audio Connect. And this is a little Bluetooth module that I have in my car. And it pretty much connects automatically when I get in my car. Now, remember, in morning commute, I had Bluetooth turned off because in the morning, I like to listen to the radio. And when I have Waze running, any notifications go off, it'll use the phone speaker. Now, normally when I'm in the car, I actually listen to music on my phone. So that's why I have sort of different things for morning commute and car. I kind of have to tweak the settings a little bit so I can have it working the way I want it to work. The in-car setting, I have the alarm volume all the way up, notification seven, ringer on seven, Bluetooth on, GPS on, and secure settings, pattern lock enabled. So once again, if I, for some reason, lose my phone, drop my phone, anything weird like that happens, my phone will still be locked, which is really good to have here. Now, the exit, once again, is GPS off, Wi-Fi on. Um, once we drill down in here, you can see it's just basically set up simple. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like I should actually put one more thing in here, and that is secure settings lock turned on. 
because right now it's just going off whatever the last profile was. What I like to do is I like to have security in layers. You wanna defend your phone in, in multiple layers just in case one layer becomes weak. Having a password set up on the previous setting, then going to the exit task, having a password there again, it won't hurt anything at all. It will actually just make sure that the password is actually on there. And this leads us to my night profile. So when I'm connected to my Wi-Fi between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., I want my phone to go to this night setting. My ringer is on zero. Notification is on zero. My alarm is on seven because if I set an alarm for, you know, before 5 a.m. for some odd reason, I want my alarm to go off. And then it waits the one hour and actually reboots my phone. Now, this is something that requires root access to do. But uh, I like to have that because I like to come up to a fresh reboot every single day. Um, I, I guess you can call me old fashioned. Once again, secure settings is a download from the Android Play Store um, that plugs into Tasker. I recommend picking it up. Like I said, there's a free edition and there's an unlock key with it too. And everything does not require root access to. Here's sort of an extra one that I put down here, which tells you your battery level when your phone is actually um, about to die. So what I'm doing is between the battery level 2% and 15%, my phone automatically says battery level percentage, wait five minutes, battery level percentage again. So this is basically a say command. With the say command, you can actually hit this little button. It looks like a, a label button to the top right corner. Once you push that, you can scroll through the um, the commands that you want it to use. So there's one in here that says battery level. So just select battery level, then type in the word percent behind it. When this is active, it says the battery level and the percent. Then I have it wait five minutes and basically do it again. And you can copy and paste these commands just, just by pressing your finger over it and doing a copy and paste. This last one here is new SMS. When I receive a text message from anybody and my display is turned off, what it does is it says who it's from. Now I have it wait four seconds because when I had a zero rate behind it, well what happened was that my notification sound will go off and it says a name at the exact same time and obviously you can't hear it. So I just go in here and set up the say command, find out where it says text from, and then I just put a little delay there for a couple seconds. So what that does is my notification sounds go off and then my text message comes in and I can hear both things at the same time. So it works out very well and then you can know if you wanna ignore the message or keep going. Now I have when the display is turned off because when you're looking at your phone, obviously you don't need to know who's texting you because it pops up in the corner of your screen anyways. That's just one of my little um, fun commands that I set up for myself. That is it, folks. That was the basics of Tasker Part 3. Will there be a Part 4? I don't know, but hopefully that was just enough to get you guys going, enough to get you making your own task, and just understand the application a little bit more than you did before. Now, if you knew about the application before, my bad, my fault. I didn't teach you anything. But if I taught you something, I feel good, and that's enough for me to be happy. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Periodically, I go through and read the comments. Also, you can contact me on the Tech Ninja YouTube channel. The Tech Ninja, type it in, it comes right up on YouTube. And that's it guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, my name is Kevin, AKA Kevin Tech Ninja. Peace. And before someone asked this question, I did pay my parking ticket.